Hey, hi, hello, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Tori and today I have an update for Partners in Korean Project Pan. I kind of want to turn this on today. I'm turning a little ghost buddy on today. If he strobes, he's getting yeeted. Well, not yeeted, he's getting shut off. Partners in Cream is a cream and liquid based project print. Project Pan that was created by Steph and Dylan. They will be listed down below. This is going to be my last update before my finale. So let's just jump into it. I have one thing rolling out. It's sadly only one, but I'm happy it's rolling out because this is also going to get counted as an empty. And that is the Natasha Denona Liquid Chromium Eyeshadow and Ultraviolet. My goal during this project was to use it 10 times. I had seven uses left and I hit those seven uses on November 13th, the day I'm filming this, I am wearing it in my lower lash line and the kind of inner part of my lid. This really makes me want to try Sydney Grace liquid eyeshadows, especially the ones that are more hollow um, or more duochrome, I guess the right word would be. Um, yeah, because I did really enjoy this, but it is drying up and I'm actually just going to call it done because I'm not taking the stopper out of it to finish it. But I will, I kind of, I will miss it now. Was it worth the price? Mm, not, not really. Didn't, I don't think this something this little should be 30 bucks. Um, but I did really enjoy using it. So now, everything that's remaining before I talk about the item I am going to pull in. So, as always, the oldest item is the ABH brow pen. I am wearing this today. Since the last update, I have to do math. I've used this 17 times. Still kicking, still vibing. I don't know, man. I don't know what this one. Because, like, that was a swatch, right? It comes off pigmented at first, and then it is starting to, you know, dissipate, water down, get less pigmented. I don't know what the right word here to use is, but still kicking. <laughs> this item, I think I'm going to declutter soon after this project. Um, from a brand I no longer support, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I have my last liquid lipstick I own from him in Mannequin. Since the last update, I used it three times. I don't know. The smell doesn't smell off, but it's wearing down weird. So, we'll see if I use it. If I don't use it by the, like, I know I'm not going to finish it by the end of this project. But if I don't use it again by the end, I'm kind of okay with it. Because I'm kind of... My mind's set on doing a lip declutter, and I think that is one I'm going to get rid of. Next, from ColourPop, I have the Blush Stick in Mini Me. Now, there's no way I'm finishing this by the finale, but I am happy with the progress I've made with it so far. Since last update, I did only use it six times, but you can tell when you look in here that I've actually used it and has gone down. So, I'm very excited. Um... I now own way too many cream blushes, so if this project comes back next year, expect a lot of cream blushes from me and expect this guy because I'm, I have been enjoying pulling this blush in, but I am focusing a lot on my powders right now. This item, I'm, the lighting just changed so much, oh my god, whatever. This item, I'm shocked, uh, wasn't finished. Um, but also I'm still able to use this somehow, which surprises me. And this is the milk foundation. This is the last of it in this tube. Since the last update, I did use it five times. I used a lot of pumps of this today. I had to use two foundations and two different concealers, all in projects to try and franken this face makeup. Um, this actually was the saving grace, surprisingly, because I made myself <laughs> too ghostly. <laughs> but um it's still kicking I thought prior like I don't know if I ever said this in an update but I thought at one point this was breaking me out we'll see if it is um I've noticed the last five times I've worn it I haven't um maybe I'm just taking better care of myself so the item I'm pulling in is an item that I've been really wanting to use so it's perfect and that is the elf putty primer I completely panned one of these last year, so this one's pretty much brand new because I've been trying to stop myself from uh, using it because I panned that other one so quick. Like, I just couldn't put it down. 
So my goal is just going to be 10 uses. I think it's very easy because I think I'm going to just reach for this. Um, but I don't want to do anything bold like try to hit pan within a month because I think that is um, a little crazy of me. Um, there's so many words I could use to describe just how insane that would be of me. Um, so just 10 uses. Very excited about it because I'm this versus the other uh, primers I'm currently panning. I'm going to choose this because I do think this is like my holy grail. I think that's the foundation, not foundation, sorry. I think that's primer that reacts the best to my skin. So I love it. So yeah, this was my update for Partners in Cream. The finale will be next month, probably on the 10th. I'm probably going to try and end it early, but if I'm not close, I will push it back. Um, material girl. So yeah, I'm thriving. I'm, I need to check for the finale, whether or not I hit my goal of what, six items? because I like to make sure I use at least the amount I started with, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know if I explained that right, but I'll explain it better in the finale. Um, but I am happy that I've got to use a lot of these products because my creams have been growing this year and I have not been dwindling them. So, as always, don't forget to check out everyone else who is doing this listed in the playlist down below. And I hope you have an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this. Peace out, Girl Scout.